Um, what's up, Dirt Blur? <laughs> Fucking kill me. All right. Jesus Christ, my forehead is big. We're doing this now. This, uh, this intro before the, uh, the real video. Anyways, um, I've decided with this new intro, we're doing a new series. I'm 100% over Outer Worlds. I don't like it. It's just not something that I enjoyed doing or even enjoyed editing really all that much. We're going to do something new. I don't like that I'm taking stuff from my streams and just putting it directly to YouTube. It's a little lazy. I'm actually going to be taking a step back from streaming and just doing straight up YouTube videos just because I think it'll be a little bit higher quality content. Um, so with that being said, I think the best time to do that is to start a new series. And with this, I think I'm going to be doing my Rage compilation series, which is going to be titled Rage and Love. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of different games. Um, the first game being Jedi Fallen Order. This game was fun. I enjoyed it on the hardest difficulty. It got me significantly angry, enough to make a video about it. So what's different about this rage montage, you know? People are probably like, eh, it's just gonna be you losing a bunch of times and then that's it. Now, see, I want to get all my rage out. You see me fight the boss, complete the boss if I do. And then at the end, I wanna talk about why I like the boss, why I didn't like the boss, and overall opinions and thoughts of said boss. So now, without further ado, here comes the video. We could build something different. You know what I wish they had did Better. in this game? They were after you beat the game, no. which I don't know if they do, which I'm pretty sure they don't. After you beat the game, you're allowed to get like costumes and you can be, be oh shit. My man's a Sith, you got red lightsabers. Why do I start this fight with one fucking health? <laughs> Lucky hit! Lucky hit! Not too quick for you. Ah, oh, he missed. Okay, for sure. Right here, bud. Oh, that was close. Fight me. I feel like I'm totally gonna die. No one can. Oh shit. Yeah, see? <laughs> Come on. My mind is shot. I'm so Oh. I'm so fucking dead. That's fine. That's fine. I know a lot of his moves already. And I just gotta get those perfect blocks. And I just gotta be able to have uh, my four stims, because I don't know why the fuck I have uh, zero in that fight. It's a full fucking cutscene, but they're not gonna give me my health back, because, you know, video games. A little salty, if you uh, couldn't tell. <laughs> This is sick. I was wrong to think you could stand with me. Oh shit. Die world. You have no right to stop the mirror. No right to our magic. Yo, this guy is sick. Get up, Calcastus. You're not dead yet. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I'm about to be. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Like, why? Why give me a cutscene? and then make me have to just do all this over again. I... 
frustrated, to say the very least. BD. All right, there we go. Oh, feels good. That was nothing. The only cowards run. Cannot avoid death forever. Ah, oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I need something, buddy. Why? Why? Oh, Jesus Christ, this fucking fight is so annoying. That was just me. I shouldn't have fucking healed right there. I should have known he was going to attack me for the fucking third time in a row. This fight sucks. I. This one, this is it. This is the, I know all his moves, I know what's happening, I know how to make this work. Yo, that was fucking trash. It's, it would be so much less aggravating if I did not have to walk through these fucking idiots every single time. And I got hit. Good. Thanks. Thank you so much, EA, for making this the way it is. Just a little bit of life already gone. Oh, and he just got full fucking si Okay. I hate that so much. I hate that so much. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. You're fucking joking. Dude, fuck. This guy is no joke. He's a real dick. And then he starts just, and then he just starts spacing from you. Like, then there's like no way you can even hit him. You just have to use your, uh, you just have to parry him at that point. Fuck, man. All right. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer this time. Try not to heal as much. Totally. Alright. Dodging won't say. I hardly felt that. I get it. All right. All right. Shit. Sorry. My bad. What do you think I'm trying to do? Come on, motherfucker, let's go. Don't do 
too slow for me. Not be denied. Yo, fuck. Heal. You got timing. Lucky hit. Lucky hit. Fuck. All right. I don't like that. Try that again. What do you think I'm trying to do? Caught in my sack. Heal. Got the heal off. All right, cool. I hardly felt that. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh, you have no idea, bro. You have no idea. Holy shit. Let him lie in the dark with his secrets. Holy shit, man. That was a crazy that, that one felt good. Yeah, two sims to spare Jesus. Alright. My thoughts on Malikos. Malikos, after watching the video back, great boss. Such a great boss. He looks really, really cool. His fighting style is extremely fun. It's just a fun fight. It was extremely irritating in the moment, but I would say out of all the, the boss battles in Jedi Fallen Order, I would say Malakos was probably the one I would redo the most amount of times. That's only because he has so many different phases in his fight where he's throwing the same abilities, but also chaining together new abilities. Or, you know, the giant fucking rocks. Straight up bullshit, but like, it was a fun little gimmick that he had. And I think that's what made the fight. Just a lot of the different gimmicks. And I think it was cool that, you know, with his fight, you couldn't use the force. Like, he was like, nope, we're done here. Like, you're not using the force, brother. It's straight up. You gotta use parries, and you just gotta hit me as hard as you can. And I thought that was cool. It, that fight made me realize how important parrying really is. Because that was really one of the only ways to burn his poison meter. Other than that, I almost have nothing bad to say about the fight. I think sometimes the rocks got a little wonky. I think there were times where you would roll out of one rock's way when another rock was already coming to hit you. And like your iframes were gone and you couldn't roll again. Maybe I just suck is probably what it is. Um, but other than that, I think that's really... Oh, why not put a checkpoint right next to the arena and i know you watched me complain about it in there it was fucking awful the fact that i had to run past those two darth maul looking motherfuckers and the guy with the arrow and then go through the crack worst part about the fight we're 100 worst part and then run and then run all the way to the arena just to fight him again no that that probably together from all the times that i died was a half hour at least that literally made no sense because i only died what nine times and i think it takes 30 seconds to get there 30 times nine math i don't know what else was great about it uh, i think I, I thought it was really cool that marin helped you in that fight it was cool because it was like you get a cut scene with marin in it and then she winds up helping you the farther down you know you bring his health she starts throwing out her magic uh, helping you decrease his poise meter. I thought that was a really cool gimmick that they did. It made it easier, obviously, which maybe some people aren't into, but it also just made it more interactive and fun. That was cool. Other than that, I don't think I have much else to say. Like I said, the worst parts about it was running there and the rocks were kind of funky. Other than that, great fight. Nine out of 10 fights. Here's an outro. Thank you.